My video got cut off. This is part two. Um, watch part one of Z offset using the probe. Um, it's just calibrated, did, did the quad gantry, and printing out perfect first layers every single time. I don't, you don't need to use a Z offset. Um, so after you do make the changes, make your uh, Z offset to your probe, you're gonna uh, center it, um, center your bed after you home it. You don't have to heat up the bed because Clipper will make adjustments, right? Um, don't have to heat up the bed, don't have to heat up the extruder, simply put it in the center and type probe underscore calibrate. That'll give you a little pop-up screen and it'll set your uh, a hot end about 10 millimeters above the center. And what you're gonna do is just go ahead and adjust it until you can um, scratch a paper and then save. Now you're gonna, from now on, you're gonna use Pro Calibrate. Uh, do not use a Z end stop. You don't need a Z end stop, all right? And here's a large object um, I'm printing out in perfect first layers every time. I'm using the Omron uh, inductive probe from the uh, Thornbot boron kit. And I was having so many issues using the Z offset because if you're Nozzle's not clean, you got problems. All right, um, this one works perfectly. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, but try it if you're having issues. It's gonna definitely fix it. I'll put all of this in writing so you can, you know which ones to change on my site, at 3dprinterschool.com. And I'm just running some stuff on my Voron. Doing a PA test again with the TPU. Have a great day.